Hello, it's me, Ebony Jenkins. Oh. This video is not for the sensitive hoes. This video is not for the sensitive hoes. The ones who can't take anyone else's opinions except for their own. If you can't have a mature conversation, then darling, this video is not for you. You will be blocked immediately. Now remember to keep it cute, keep it mute, or get the boot. Now preparing to nanny port to Nina's raw view in 3, a 2, a 1. Boom. Hey y'all, it's me, Pierre, a.k.a. Nina Bonina Bonana Fofana Osama Marceline, Vampire Queen Brown. And we are back for another raw view of Dragula. Whoop, 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 whoop. And y'all know how we do, piggies. Y'all know this is a place where you come to keep it cute, keep it mute, or you will get the boot. Boom. Shaka laka 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 boom. And today we have a guest, a special guest, honey, from this current season of Dragula, Miss Asia Consent. She will be here in a few. And y'all know, don't come here acting a fool. If you're new here, don't get yourself blocked and chopped immediately. I'm trying to be smart in the comments because I do have mods. So show her respect and show me respect on my channel. Thank you very much. As always, if you would like the tip, Please do, especially feel free to tip Asia when she gets here. You know she give her information, cause you know I can't afford to I can't afford to pay these girls. Oh God, I said oh God. So money, honey, trust. All my tip and information is down below in the description box. But most importantly, make sure y'all like the video, engage with the video. So sit back, piggies, and enjoy. Well. Piggies, what did I tell y'all? I told y'all be patient and good things will come to you. So darling, without further ado, or since we're in Dragula, uh, boo, that was so lame. But anyway, we have Asia <laughs> Consent here. Everybody give it up for a woo! Hey, Asia yes. girl. <laughs> yes, thank you, Nina, for having my gutted ass. I cannot be. <laughs> more excited to be here. Oh, no, I am so, like, whenever I have whatever few queens that I feel like actually don't mind showing me love in public, they respect me, I just have nothing but love for her, so I just want to say thank you for, um, for not being scared to be a Nina fan or a supporter, so I appreciate that. Yes, of course. Well, let me just say, I've been a piggy myself for years, and I absolutely adore what you put out there. Like, your content is phenomenal. The looks are phenomenal. I'll quit brown nosing you, but yeah, just... I No, love. thank you. And, you know, with all the, you know, with the cancellations and all, uh -huh. I totally get it, but you just, you're real, okay? I don't care. You're real, so <laughs> I love it. So you, so you, so you get that I'm saying things that secretly people might want to say, but too scared to say, but I just, I just speak my mind. You, you would say. Yeah, well, thing like, I understand people, like, maybe not liking what you have to say. Uh -huh. I totally understand that. Mm -hmm. But um, also, too, it's just, like, people do say these things as well. You just put it out there. Right. So I fully, I totally get it. And, you know, it's not for everyone. Right. But and you being a trans, a trans, no, you being a trans woman, right, okay. Yes. So clearly, me having you here, um, I guess that makes I'm, I'm transphobic. But, so welcome to my transphobic channel, sis. <laughs> I know, you're doing your charity work. I'm doing my charity work. <laughs> so, okay, enough about me. So, let's find out about you, because I would like to know more about you. And um, I'm not sure what all you can say and what you can't say. I don't get you in trouble or anything, right? So... Yes. I'll just say, ask whatever you want, and if I can't answer, Right. Will. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, have you... Okay, well, first off, tell people just Asia Consent. How did you get that name? How did that come to be? 
Oh, wild. Okay, so this is actually like my third drag name, which okay. <laughs> I was Abortia Clinique first, which uh-huh. now got me canceled. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So the girls from Aphrodite. Uh-huh. 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 The Asia Consent. I was watching uh, Drag Race Season 10, and uh-huh. Asia O'Hara was on it. And I was like, oh, Asia, that kind of sounds like Asia. I was drunk as fuck with my friends. Uh-huh. And I was like, oh, what could Asia be? And just Asia Consent. And I was like, that's so irreverent, so uh-huh. country. So I just loved it. So okay, okay, it. okay. So, and just, see, I'm, I'm glad you just said something just now, because I was going to ask you this later on, okay? So you just mentioned you saw Asia on Drag Race, right? Okay, so whenever I see other Dragula girls speaking, or even on the show, or even in, like, in other little interviews, per se, they never say the show name. They're like, that show. So, like, are y'all not allowed to say that? Or, like, what's the deal with that? Well, I just did, but, uh, no, um, <laughs> we're allowed to talk about it. It's just, like, on the show specifically, we want to keep the focus about Dragula and the right. on there. Um, but when we do other media stuff too, it's like, yeah, we can talk about Drag Race. I mean, even the Boulets, I know that they have so much respect for RuPaul, and like right. I do too. Like that, if we, she didn't do what she did, we wouldn't have. Right. Podcast, Thank so. you. Yeah. I love and respect RuPaul so much, even with the fracking. Uh-huh. You know, she can do her little laugh <laughs> if she wants. But yeah, I, I have so much respect. <laughs> okay, so it is funny because like you know I used to have a couple of names too, but like my but back then it was more so like when I used to trick trade on the phone and change my voice. So like my name was. Tamika, that's my fish name, and then my first drag name was Lady Guinevere, but people could never never pronounce it. They'd be like Lady Guinea Pig, and I'm like, yeah, never mind. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Guinea Pig. Oh my god, that's Papa New Guinea. Yeah. Right. So that was my name. But anyway, okay. So have you ever though auditioned for that other show? Okay. So. um Yes and no. I actually have submitted like my written application, but then once I got to the video, I was like, uh, I don't know if I could like Snatch Game is the number one thing. I'm like, bitch, I literally have no clue what I would do for Snatch Game. Right. Um, and then also too, I'm not like a five, six, seven, eight dancing diva like at all. Okay. So I'm like, bitch, if I was at the bottom, I would immediately go home. So that's kind of what scared me. I've never like f- submissioned, you know, like did a full submission. Right. For it, but, right. You know. Now can I? It's ask- just not. It's just. Yeah, Dragula is more for me. Like, you know, you don't have to be the greatest, like, dancer for that, but right. I do still perform well, for sure. Okay. Can I ask a shady question? <laughs> do it. And honestly, if you want to read me, like... No, 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 no. No, no, no. Look, we'll do that later. We're watching the show. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. No, but... Okay. Because I say this sometimes about, about some people on the show. Okay. Do you think there's some girls past seasons or what or current season that may necessarily not be Dragula material and they try getting on the other show but the other show didn't take them so now they're Dragula girls can I oh, can I ask that messy. oh my god um, no names no names but, but but just if you think I don't think names but yeah I do think you know uh, everyone that does drag, I don't care who you are, someone out there is like, bitch, I want to be on TV. So I totally get it. And uh-huh. it's like, I can do Dragula because, you know, they feel like they can get on TV and maybe that's easier. Uh-huh. I get why they may feel that way. Uh-huh. But honestly, Dragula is not easier. Like, I haven't done the other one to grant it. Right. Like, it's a lot of fucking work yeah. to get there. So, like, I get maybe if they think, oh, it's easier and they want to get on the show, like, totally get it. Everyone wants to be famous. But... It is not easier, and I don't know why people are like, oh, drag race, you know, I can't, but I'll get my ones over right. here. It's like, it's still, you know, it's not as popular. We know that. It's alternative. Yeah. Alternative will always be yeah. less popular for a reason. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's still a lot of hard, hard work, for sure. Do you feel any kind of way about maybe, because I think it's been two queens so far from drag race that have went to Dragula. Do you feel some kind of way about that like not fair you already had your chance why are you here or like no no honestly i love it um the only thing i would say is like i kind of want other monsters that haven't you know like don't have these opportunities right. to be able to bring it to the main stage that's the only thing i would say but right like, yuri is on the same season as me i love that bitch so much she's so fucking funny and sweet and extremely talented so like she deserves to be on dragula and like even um you know jay jolie i was very surprised i'm not gonna lie i was like not the Taylor right the <laughs> but then when i saw what she did i was like okay no she does belong here and like she belong deserves to be here just as much as anyone else okay okay we'll get back to that stuff. so i was still you okay what if i can yeah. ask you about your past self if i you know if i can if that's okay 
Who was your past self? What was your, what was your name? What what was that person? You know, you know, oh. you know. Well, um, honestly, I I won't share my name just because I don't really want. That's that fine. That's fine. There, but, That's fine. That's um, fine. Me pre transition. Um, I, I started transitioning when I was 14 years old. Like, that's when I came out and everything. Started right. hormones, changed my name and everything. Right. Um, but honestly, I'm pretty much the same person. Like, I was always a dorky nerd, had no friends. And, like, I'd play video games all the time. Hey. And, like, I got a Photoshop when I was, like, really young and all that. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty much the same person. I'm just a little more femme and <laughs> hunt now. Um, but, yeah, it's, yeah. I also, like, I would say I was... A little boy, you know, like pre-transition, but I was never like a man. I just, right. I never had that experience. I was always like a child when I was pre-transition, and right. then I grew up as Nicole or as Asia. All right. So, so, your, so your real girl, you know, girl name is Nicole. Yes. Okay. Is. Okay. Thank you. I picked okay. it because I was in a gym class one day, and I was going between Vanessa and Nicole, and then the gym teacher called roll and said it right. for Nicole that was in the class, and I was like. <laughs> yeah, that's just my name from that moment. Does your parents, family accept you for Nicole? Accept Nicole? Oh, yes. Yeah, my mom is my number one supporter. Like, if you're in Portland or, like, sometimes she comes to my traveling shows, too. Oh. Everyone knows her as mama consent. Like, uh-huh. she's super supportive. She, at first, was a little hesitant about drag. Like, she's right. like, bitch, I don't want them putting needles in Right, 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 right. <laughs> but, um, she, yeah, she loves coming to my shows and all that. Super supportive. Um, I haven't got much, like, kickback from my family. I just don't have, like, a super close relationship with right. my dad. Um, but he's not, like, you know, homophobic right, or right. homophobic or anything. He's just not in my life. But, is your mom yeah. black or, like, dad black or, like, somebody who's, like, a different race in your family? Oh, yeah. My dad is black, 100%. Okay. And then my mom is white, but she's a ginger. So, like, that's why I'm, like, hella pasty. Oh. Yeah, I'm, like, <laughs> but, yeah. Okay. So, so, do you ever, is there ever, because I'm just interested in that, like, is there ever a day or time that you just, I don't know, wake up, whatever, and you're like, hmm, I, do you ever have any regrets of choosing the path of being Nicole, if that, if, if, if that makes sense? Yeah, no, that's a great question, because um, honestly, for me, too, like, I, it's easiest to say that I'm a trans woman, but, right. like, I honestly, I feel like I'm somewhere, like, in the middle, okay. because, like, I do love being very feminine and right. everything, but I do like being, like, an androgynous right. uh-huh. in the middle person. Right. So, honestly, I don't regret it whatsoever, and um, that is a very valid question, too, because some people, it's very rare, but some people that do transition right. do transition. Right totally get it it just wasn't for them right but also being trans is so fucking hard because mm-hmm. yeah. when you step out the door especially you know like if maybe you're not the most passable uh-huh. people will judge you left and right especially oh, I, yes. where you live like i live somewhere very liberal and people uh-huh. still are looking at me like who's this big black uh-huh. trans girl walking down the street <laughs> looking weird as fuck but but asia, 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 like, asia but you me. but you know though that even if somebody is so passable People are still going to hate just because the mere fact that you're trans. So it's like, so it's like you can look fish all day, right. but but they're going to still be like, that's a man. But just because they're just messy like that, that's how it is. Exactly. You know. It's like once someone knows your tea, yeah, like, then people will be hateful. That was yeah. part of the reason why I was like, with my name, I kind of don't want that out there. No, that's fine. Like someone that is like transphobic might be like that and be like, oh. F- this like say my dead name like you know i don't need that shit out there if you want to come for me for being trans go for it but like i don't need you to try and like attack me as a person like i i don't deserve it and any other trans person doesn't deserve it but if you come to my door i can take it okay Thank you. <laughs> okay because i you know i i used to have um never wanted to say never thought the word trans you know that wasn't a thing but like i used to have these dreams of this woman or girl that I always saw inside of me. I mean, like, always. And I, I never knew if it was an angel. No, for real, like, no, for example, but a, a guardian. But she was somebody who I think I maybe wanted to be because, like, I was never happy with myself, I felt like. So I used to always see this beautiful, for some reason, I don't know why she was light-skinned, beautiful, long-haired, curvaceous, like, gorgeous woman. And, like, I used to, and I used to ask God at night that I would wake up and be that person. And then it never happened like that. But I just, but then I, I ended up just being, learning to be happy being, Pierre, and then like you know, and, and I can still live that female womanly energy through drag and doing my art and stuff like that. Oh, oh go I ahead. I want to say before you move on from that, I just I appreciate you sharing that because like a lot of people in the queer community, they don't talk much like about their gender identity, especially if they're just like a gay man or uh-huh. whatever. But a lot of people do like struggle with that, especially if you do drag now or something. Right. Uh huh. Like, 
do I really want to be a woman? Do I just right. want to do this for the stage? Even when I was young, I thought the same thing, too. Because I'm right. like, okay, do I want to be, like, the girls on RuPaul's Drag Race? Or do I want to live my life, like, as a woman full time? Right. And the answer was, I wanted both. But maybe right. for someone like you, it's like, I just want that for right. fun sometimes. And maybe I'll be fam. Maybe right, I'll be uh-huh, fam. uh-huh. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know? Okay, um, and where you, you say that you're from Portland? Um, I'm originally from Stockton, California. I was from the hood, um, and then we made it out. I was like six when we moved up here, and then yeah, I've lived here ever since. So oh. I'm sure Portland's my home, but Stockton, California is right. my hometown. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. What's your sign? Birthday and all that. Ooh, I love, um, I would say that I'm, it's because I'm trans that uh-huh. I'm a Gemini, because like, it's like two spirits uh-huh, and twins uh-huh, and all that, uh-huh. but yeah, I'm a Gemini, so, uh, you know, I, I'm get dressed, but, but I, I don't fully believe that, but like, you know, I definitely, um, I'm neurodivergent, like, uh-huh. ADHD, autistic, all that, so like, I definitely do mask around certain people, uh-huh. and then like, I'm more comfortable with other people, and I'm like, I don't know, does that make me a two-faced bitch? Uh, I yeah. don't know. I no, like uh, see... I know that people don't believe in those signs, but I promise you, my my history with Gemini's, uh, like 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 they can be the sweetest things, but then can be so wish washy. Not saying you, but just but just my experiences. So I'm just like whenever like, like even if I'm on whatever dating app, whatever I don't know, and then like somebody's like they're Gemini, I'm like yeah, never mind. Um, next person, <laughs> I know that's ignorant. Right, yeah, and black for a reason. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, you're, not, you're not the first person to say it, and you will not be the last. Uh, it's, just, it's not for everyone, but it's just, like, me personally, I definitely will tell you how I feel about you. Right, uh-huh. But, and also, I won't talk to you. It's just, there's certain times where it's, like, I'm more comfortable telling this to other people versus, you know, my small group of people. Right. But I feel like everyone feels like that in a sense. Right. So, I don't know. I keep it real, though. Right. Which is why we connect, because we both, both are real people. Absolutely. So... Yes. I would like to know about your beautiful art. Like, where, like, like you have a very different style of art. Like, but are there certain queens or artists or, or things that inspired your look to, to, to become what it is now? Yeah, I'm going to say, like, I'm just going to be completely real. Just, mm-hmm. like, this is how it is. When I grew up, I, um, I was on MySpace. That was my first, like, social media. And it's unfortunate because I do not, like, I don't support them now or anything. But mm-hmm. Jeffree Star was, like, the very first mm-hmm. queer person I ever saw. I saw that picture of them vomiting the Fruit Loops uh-huh, on the bus. Uh-huh. And I immediately was like, this bitch is so cool. Bright mm-hmm. pink hair, crazy makeup. Right. And ever since then, I was like, I want to look like something like right. that. Don't support the bitch anymore. But no, it's not, no, no, it's fine. It's fine. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. But, um, yeah, now I would say I've, as I grew up and saw more queer things and stuff, Lee Bowery is a huge inspiration of mine. Okay. Love Divine, like, just so irreverent and nasty. Like, I just love the audacity that you have to have to do something and be like, I don't give a f- anyone thing. Right. I think that's why I love you so much. But, Aww. yeah, I was like, I don't give a f- I'm going to do whatever the f- I want. Right. So, yeah. Um, and, yeah, I love masked culture, too. Like, okay. people wear masks. I think it's hot, high-key. Okay. Um, I don't make masks myself, too, but, like, that's why I paint like this. Right. To kind of mimic a mask like, right. when I wear a mask. So, it's like, these are my eyes, and it's just, like, right. a strap that's on my face. Were you always doing this kind of makeup, or was there a time where you was doing fishy, you know, glamour, like, kind of oh, things? Yes. You know? Yeah, I started drag, like, when I was 17 years old, and I was doing, like, the college drag shows, and no, I was just doing normal, right. like, what you would see on RuPaul's Drag yeah. at the time, very beige, and, you know, a beige cut crease and all that, right. um, but I didn't start doing alternative, alternative drag until, like, a little bit before Dragula Season 1 started, and then when I saw that, I was like, oh my god, my drag is valid, okay? So, right. Um, yeah, I've just always loved horror movies and shit like that. Same, so same, like, same. It was like, oh, I didn't realize you could even do right. this. Right. so cool. Wait, what's your age? Ooh, I want you to guess. What's hard to with all the Play-Doh on your face, but if I... <laughs> Yeah, no, that's not real. No. You know I'm playing um, with you, girl. Um, it, so, so, so I love it. me seeing you outside of the makeup. Okay, let me see, because because it, it's it's you're definitely in your twenties, twenties. Uh, Six ish, something like that. Four, five. Yeah, you're not too far off. Yeah, I'm. I'm 28. I just turned 28. <gasps> that's my first thought. That's yeah, my first thought. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to go with your gut. No, 28. Um, okay. Yeah, we were filming though. I was 27. Okay. So I got a little older since, but yeah. See, I thought you were so much younger, but but look, look, it don't it don't crack. Well, on some people, on some people, 
It cracks sometimes, yeah, okay? <laughs> well, you look good, girl. And so, okay, so, okay, 28 years old, and then you've been doing drag for how long? Um, I started when I was, like, 16. 16. 17. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, okay. Portland, actually, they, um, so I did the college shows, and because I was going to college at the time, like, I was, I was a nerd, so I went to college early. Right. But also, too, Portland had an underage drag club, and I would perform there, too, um, until I was 21. So right. I was very fortunate, because Portland always has, like, some weird stuff going on, and yeah, I started there, and it's not in, around anymore, but Escape Night Club, if anyone knows about it. Right. Yeah, that was the place. And it was a Sprite bar, but the kids were drinking. The kids were bumping that. I wasn't. I was too nerdy. But yeah, I, I did my drag there too. Is oh, oh, okay back. Oh yeah, you said horror movie. Hey, what's your give me give me two? You get you get two two of your favorite horror movies. Ooh, okay. Well, I will say I'll give you a current one because I'm like beyond obsessed with it right now. Okay. I think if you haven't seen it, you would love it, Nina. The Substance. <gasps> oh my! God. I just saw it today. So, Today, I just thought today. today. Yeah, yeah, yes, okay. yes, yes. I'll tell you my thoughts, and I want to hear your thoughts. Okay. I just love like the body horror element of it all. I thought Demi Moore's acting was so good, mm -hmm. and then I really love like a Black Mirror twist, uh -huh. you know, or like Twilight Zone type of twist like that. It was so fucking good. I loved it, and the practical effects in it were uh -huh. fucking amazing. Uh -huh. But what did what do you think of the substance? Okay, so, well, hey, give me a number. What do you give it on one to ten? Damn, it was the best movie I saw this year. But I'd probably just to be safe, I'm gonna give it like a nine, honestly, because uh, some of it, like those ass shots, were or those butt shots, uh -huh. when they were like close <laughs> up on uh, the other girl. I was like, okay, they could have cut out like twenty minutes right. of this. But other than that, I loved it. Wait, I love how y'all. I love how she's trying to be careful on saying ass. But been saying the F word for the past two minutes. <laughs> I'm trying. I, rem I remember when I said it. I was like, oh, yeah. No, it's fine. So I give the substance a uh, eight ish. Only, okay, I love Demi Moore. It's good to see her. Like, I, like, like there's an a, a old movie called Nothing But Trouble that I love her in. I just thought that at some points it got a little silly. Like, 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 like. A little silly, like I'm like I'm like, am I supposed to be laughing at this or or is it serious? Like 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 the whole monstrous part with the um, you know the at the end. Monstro Elizabeth. Yeah, Elizabeth. like what? Like I'm like, what, was that real? The last thirty minutes of the movie was so camp. And it was horror movies too. Is like horror and camp go together like uh -huh. very well, but like uh -huh. it's either you love it or right. it's just not for me. Yeah, and like I personally, I love like very campy stuff. So right, that for me, the last thirty minutes, I was with everything. Living, <laughs> and so, like, she stuck the earring. Yes, like, yes, 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 yes. I was like, girl, it's a wrap. Stop. No, whoever made those practical effects, they did, they did a great job. It was amazing. And that girl, the, the young girl, her body was everything. I say yes, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so definitely. Right, 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 right. No, I thought about it, but then I was like, I had to, I had to go through all that. Never mind. Never mind. I thought it was just a pill, right. girl. Never mind. Yeah, right. Amazing. So, what's your other favorite movie? Your other, like, give me an old school one back in the day. Give me an old school old one. Old school one, I would say. Damn, this may be controversial. I don't know, but I love, um, I don't know if this counts, but I love House of a Thousand Corpses. Okay. Um, I just love the story in it, and I love a good clown, so Captain Spaulding okay. is in it. I, um, yeah, I've done, like, a look based off him and everything. I'm, like, so obsessed with that one, and it's just, like, it's another stupid one. Right. Thing, but, like, still very horrific, so I love that one. Props to Rob Zombie, even though I know some people don't like him. Do you think he would ever go on Dragula? Like, just as a judge or something like that. Rob Zombie? Yeah. I don't think they would ever have him, but I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> like, yeah, so, some of my favorite horror stuff, just as far as, like, just in general, I love stuff about, I love dolls. So anything, like, with some, with some killer yeah. dolls for me is my thing. Like, that's my thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to, just really quick, before we get to the show, to Dragula, some, some, some stuff. Okay, I would like to know, okay... What is the process with Dragula? As far as like, okay, you put in a video, they call you, I guess, eventually. You know you got on, right? Okay, okay. And then they mm -hmm. fly you out just like just like drag race would, I'm assuming. You know, they, 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 they do the same thing. But when you get there, like what's the like are they locking you on a hotel like 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 they do us or like okay. what is <laughs> this is one I cannot answer. Okay, way. okay, okay, okay. But if you want me to answer we Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, it's a good time and we keep key at uh -huh. the mansion, yeah. Well, okay, how about answering as far as like the when the uh, when y'all are getting ready, 
and the thing goes off. Y'all all like, oh my god, oh my god, I got two minutes. Is it really two minutes? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you can sell like. I know, I know. Yeah, we immediately get on the stage. <laughs> okay. Are they nice to y'all, the brothers? Oh my God, yeah. I, I've had like the most wonderful experience working with the Boulay brothers, and I'm not just saying that. Right, like, right. They truly, I haven't met them, you know, like having a good amount of time with them before, right. but them, their team, everything like i have no notes they truly were so lovely if we right. needed anything even just like mentally or like right. literally like i need a red bull like right. they would like totally get it for us so like super sweet i and also too that was like probably when i left that was the lowest p- moment in my life right because with everything going on in my personal life and they truly like if i ever needed anything they helped me out but then when we were filming and everything it was right like, if, breath of fresh air exactly what i need okay. to like oh this i'm here this is what i need to be doing yeah can i ask what was going on was it like was it was it what you brought up on the show as far as like the whole dating thing is that what it was yeah it was definitely because my um my partner at the time mm-hmm. we were married for you know about like four years but we've been together for like six years oh and man. yeah i found out just one day um i found a bottle of lube and there's stuff uh-huh. which i was like that's cute. So then um, from there, I was spiraling, went to their phone. Uh-huh. Lo and behold, I found a secret email that had like from five years of just them sucking and sucking, like, or, you know, uh-huh, uh-huh. doing it. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, I found pictures, videos, emails. Wait, he took and pictures and videos of them doing it? Yes! I the hell? I like, who is this for? Who right. Because I never, like, went through their phone or anything. Right. Was, like, so trusted. Yeah. Uh, I learned I shouldn't be. Um, Yeah, it was just because... And I didn't find out, too, because they were doing, like, you know, like, Ubering for their job and everything. So, like, you know, they're gone for however long. I didn't, like, really think anything of it. Um, And also, I'm a heavy sleeper, too. So, like, if they were doing something in the middle of the night, I wouldn't have Right. You know? And they knew that, so... I just... I will say, I do still love them. Like, they're still my child. Yeah. I taught them everything they know. But, yeah, it's just... I, I can't, you know, be with I just, I, I'm just mad how dumb they were, though, for, like, recording everything. Like, I'm just like, are you, like, like, like are they just, like, I don't understand. <laughs> like, right. Look, it's like uh, some salacious emails you could maybe dispute, but, like, there's literally right. a picture and video. Yeah. Like, let's be real. Right. Yeah. YouTube, if y'all ever cheat on your spouse, please be smart and don't, don't do videos. Thank you. <laughs> just, just, or just don't cheat. Right, right. Like, hey, let's try to open whatever. You do your stuff on the Right, phone, right, 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 right. Okay. Yeah. I cannot. I'm, well, I'm sorry to happen to you. It's always one person it's that like, puts it in. Sucked, but I'm like, you know, they say everyone cheats, and I'm like, yeah, it's horrible, but like, it just sucks that it does happen. Right. But now I know. I just, which, honestly, I'm having a little fun right now. So I'm like, you know, it's in the past for me. Right. It does suck, but like, I'm getting my trade now. And now I'm in my right. top era. Right. So I'm oh, hold on, 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 hold on. You two, y'all heard it here. Asia consent is in her top era. And so if you meet her and she may top you, but you got to give her your consent first. Okay. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> okay. It, okay, so I want to talk about a little bit you and Pi. <laughs> What's going on? I mean, like, okay, like, you know, sometimes I feel like the girls on Drag, just personally, be putting on for the camera shout with the drama. But is there really drama going on, or is it, or, 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 or is it just the editing making it seem like it's worse than what it is? If you can say, it was intense, honestly, okay. because like. I and I, like, we got, like, even though Gray was like, you, y'all have only known each other for two weeks. Right. It's like, yes, but also we're in this traumatic situation with each other. And, like, we're the only people that know how it feels. So, like, right. I and I did get really, really close at okay. the beginning. Um, and then, yeah, once they, you know, weren't telling, they were telling everyone else something. And right. telling me something privately, you know, about my own art. That just really, like, it did, okay. like, mess me up. Um, but I did still want to open up to them about my personal life and everything, right. but then, yeah, I just kind of spilled the tea about them wanting to have an alliance with me. Um, but honestly, I feel like it kind of worked out because, it's like, nobody would suspect us now right. to be in an alliance uh-huh, because uh-huh. we don't have any good between us. <clears throat> but, you know, really, we, like, absolutely loved and adored each other. And also, Pi is, like, if I could marry anyone on the cast... Auntie's a close second, but, like, uh-huh. Pi is, like, my good Judy. Oh. I love Pi. Okay, so y'all are still good now. 
Like, honestly, everyone on the cast, I'm like, I talk to most, if not all of them, and, like, I love all of them, truly. I'm going back to that most part. Yeah, I've heard, like, from other casts, like, not Dragula specifically, but even Drag Race, it's like, oh, we all hated each other afterwards. I'm like, uh-huh. I, yeah, we do not have that experience. We all, like, very much so love each other, support each other, so. So there's nobody there that you just can't stand at, at all? <laughs> um, no, I'm just no, I really do um, enjoy everyone. It's just there's one person specifically I won't say, but okay. they just don't communicate with all of us. Okay. Um, which I understand though, they're just like anxious about right. this whole ride and right. everything. So I'm like, I understand if you need space. I just wish that we would talk more so that I felt closer. But, oh, so y'all have the group chat too? Maybe. <laughs> Could we do? T- every, yeah. I feel like every drag race season they have a, a group chat afterwards or whatever the case is. Do y'all's work room be yeah. freezing as well? Oh, I think, yeah, I think I can say, but yeah, when we're on stage, right, it is like, I'm not even exaggerating to, like, some days it was like 40 degrees. I believe I you. One, specific, one day specifically, it was even colder than that. Oh my it, like, God. It is so cold in there. Oh. So I'm grateful because like, I get sweaty. I'm like Latrice Royale girl. Uh-huh. I would like move two steps and I'll be dripping. Uh-huh. So I was glad that it was freezing. Oh right? no, ma'am, no, ma'am. No. So did that hole really swim with sharks? What was that? Did, they, did that hole really swim with sharks? Or was it CGI? <laughs> now, I wasn't there, but I will say, like, I know, like, she would have told me to tell it. Yeah, those were real sharks. It was just some of the shots. It did look a little, um, I was surprised, but yeah, I know that they were definitely swimming with sharks. Okay, and then how was the brains and chocolate? Was it really disgusting? Like, like, is it real brains? Like, is that what's going on? Like, like what? Yes, yeah, I... I thought maybe they were just going to be like, okay, we're going to make it look like uh-huh, brains. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Go ahead and uh-huh. on it or whatever. No, they were real brains. And then also, too, they put, like, fish sauce over it. So oh, like, yeah, really yeah. Really salty yes. and really, like, squishy. Oh. It's, like, the best way to describe it is, like, a crumbly mushroom was the texture. Yes. But then the taste of it was, like, metally fishy. It was oh. so great. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And the smell, too, because in that video where, like, people were, like, pouring it right. themselves and stuff, it reach so bad it's not like a fish market in there like for at least two days it was so oh yeah it's the true feel is there a favorite season that you have a drag along besides yours oh yeah every, uh, yeah honestly i think season six is going to give you know the other ones a run for their money for mm-hmm. sure i am a little biased but right. i really do think right. it's bringing the drama and looks and everything right. um Season two, I'll give her her tens because, like, that truly, I think, is what put Dragula, like, on the map. I'm right. like, oh, this could, like, this is actually something. But actually, yeah, I'm going to just leave it at that. I think those are my two favorites. Season six is great, but season two is, like, you got to give it up. Also, the Wasteland Weekend Challenge, like, that is so iconic. Like, oh, I love that. And not because you're here, but no, no, I kind of feel like this might be one of my favorite casts. For some reason, I just feel like y'all are very, like, um... I don't know, bubbly and just like different and like and, and like it, it just seems more fun for some weird reason as far as the cast does for me. Yeah, I think Dragula has definitely gotten a rap for like the contestants being kind of ice queens and everything. Like they kind of just right. don't show too much uh-huh. of their personality. Mm-hmm. And we, um, I know the cast is very like okay, so you know Dragula is like glamour, filth, and horror. Right. I feel like the hidden tenet of our cast was camp because like these are some campy people, and also too, it's like. We all were trying to get on the show, for the most part, all of us, trying to get on Dragula for years. Right. So I think once we got there, it was just like, this is our moment, we're going to milk it for everything that right. it's worth. So Wait, yeah, see, I think that combination made it like, we're just, you know, having a good time. I think I was told that you, it's not your, it's not your first time auditioning, is it? Or is it your first time? No, yeah, I auditioned seasons four, five, and then six. Oh, five, like, wow. Five. Okay. Yeah. There was some drama, too, because, okay, season three, I was on, like, those rumored lists. You know those right. ones on YouTube, yeah. like, that one song? Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I was on one of those, <laughs> and then people speculated me to be gone. Okay. Um, and I just wasn't on Instagram a lot of the time, right. but since I wasn't posting, people were like, oh, she's on season three. And I didn't know at the time, but then later, I realized, and I was like, oh, let me just keep not posting on right. Instagram. <laughs> so I can, like, keep this uh-huh, up. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You know, it gets some clout. Right, in it. right. Um, and then when the cast dropped, everyone was gagged. That I wasn't on right. it. But um, yeah, some people were mad. But like, honestly, I got right. like a hell of a uh-huh. out of it. So like, uh huh. Do you <laughs> think? Whatever, do you think though that had they had called you for the earlier times, you actually would have been ready? And it and it also, why do you think? Why do you think they didn't choose you? Like, like, what would you, what would you think? What wasn't your turn? Like, why wasn't your turn? Well, okay. Let me say this. I think. 
they would not have picked me. And actually, uh, Drac said this specifically on their podcast, too. So I can say this. Okay. But um, someone in production, because of that whole thing, was basically saying that I was, like, a terrible person and that I should die. And all Not actually. Right, right. right. Just like, oh, my God, age is awful and da 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 And that I shouldn't be on the show. So because of that whole thing, um, I think that was part of the reason why they didn't want to cast oh, me. Uh, okay. Um, which, totally understandable. I'm like, if they didn't want me because of that, that's fine. Um, but that person on production didn't work with them anymore, and they were like, mm, let's give this Asia girl a chance. Right. Um, but I'm so glad I got on season six, because season four, I was so busted. Like, it was so... Right. I was so not ready. Right. Season five, I honestly was just... Um, at the time, I wasn't happy with, like, my body and right. everything, so I lost, like, 100 pounds before I got on season Yay. six. Yay! Um, and then also, too, I had a lot of personal stuff right. going on. Yeah. I still did, obviously. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I ended up, you know, I think season six, mentally, physically, and drag-wise, I was just What's like, for you? For it. Okay, yeah. yeah. It may not come when you, now I know you're dragging a girl and y'all do gospel, but it may not come when you want him, but he'll be there right on time. He's a on time God, yes he yeah. is. <laughs> so, okay. Oh <laughs> I wanna ask one last thing about, about about just the brothers really quick. Wait, when when the one is always like Oh no, two things because I'm gonna curse you out for one thing. But the first thing, really quick, no, let me curse you out first. I'm cursing you out because y'all had Don Mancini and Jennifer Jennifer Tilly on y'all show, and you did not ask that man to send me a Chucky doll. Was there a reason why, or like, what can I like? <laughs> And, you know, and there's just so much going on behind the scenes. I totally slipped my mind to be like, hey, Don, you need to send me a doll. <laughs> Don will hook it up. Right. Now. We're gonna, you know, Don was Jennifer really that nice? Like, when she hugged, oh, oh my, my God. God. Yeah. She was lovely. Like, truly, that was like. That was when I was like, oh, wow, I'm actually here with like celebrities. I know. And, like, this is really like, I'm on track. I was about. jealous. Yeah, I was meeting her. Oh, sweetie. Oh, yeah. I was so jealous. I, I like, like, like I, I'm a huge Chucky fan and all that. So I'm like, y'all oh, are, no, yeah. girl, y'all are blessed, girl. Y'all don't, y'all are blessed. All right. So when the brothers well, like, my question is, when are you gonna be a guest judge? Because I feel like, <gasps> thank you. you. Hold on, 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 I want you to ask that again, but I, want you, but, but I want drama. Can you turn around like you're looking at the wall, but then kind of swing your hair, and then kind of just ask that in, in, in your Oprah voice. Go ahead. Look <laughs> under your chairs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, never mind. Just do you. Just do you. Know why? Yeah, no, I just don't know why that Nina is not a guest judge on Dragula. Like, let's be real. <laughs> No, thank you. Thank you. So yeah, I truly I truly like when I saw you on drag like not to gush too much, but like no, when I saw but... you on drag race and saw that peach head and then the Mickey Mouse and Arcade uh -huh. Mouse and everything, I truly was like, Wow, like this person is actually creating art instead of just like, Oh, I'm pretty. Like I right. I love that you actually like create art and I thank feel like that's what Dragula is all about. Right. Like creating art, something to think about and like that's right. really what you do and that's like they totally should have no, it on No, no, Asia, like no, Asia, can I say for real, for my, like, I have chills, like, I, and, and I have chills only because, like I said, I don't feel like I get a lot of, um, love or respect from people just because they all think I'm this horrible person for some weird reason, and so, I just really appreciate you, like, for, for, for real, for real, for my heart for you saying that because, you know, there's a lot of people who be like, oh, you should go on the show. And I'm like, I don't want to compete. It's not that I think I'm too good, at all, but I just feel like I just already been there, done it. And I feel like they've had other drag race girls on there who don't even, no shade, don't even do the kind of stuff that y'all do or that I do, let alone that. So I'm like, you would think that they would be like, oh, let's have somebody on the show who actually does the kind of art and understands. And a lot of times me and the brothers be on the same wavelength. We have the same thoughts when I'm doing my, 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 my review. And plus I worked with them one, for one time doing this Halloween show and they were sweet to me and I was sweet to them. So in my mind though, Asia, I feel like, well, I guess somebody must have told them to cancel me, I guess. That's why they don't, that's why I haven't heard from them. So that's, but I don't know, but, but, but that's how I feel. So, yeah. I, yeah, I totally understand feeling that way. And I think, too, like, what you said, like, they do have drag race girls, like, as guest judges. Yeah. So, it's not like... It can happen, like, totally. I just think maybe they, with this season specifically, like, maybe they're trying to focus on, like, oh, it's going to pull in, you know, the views or anything. Not necessarily that you won't, but, like, you know, like, someone like Violet. Right, Violet, right, right, right. No, I get it. No, I get it. The general audience might be like, oh, my God. But, like, 
me as such a fan of like art in general, right. just like drag race, Dragula and everything, it's like, it would totally make sense to have you as a guest judge or even like a mentor, like something like some oh. kind of way to put you on the show to like, cause you were doing it before like Dragula like really was like, oh, oh, the, like oh, 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 Asia, stop. Th- no, th- no, Why no, 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 so, so <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, so like I am smiling, like I know you can't see me, but I'm, so, but, but I am because like, <laughs> because I feel like Drag Race has tried to like, dim my dim my spotlight and try to act like what I've done wasn't important and that I wasn't something that and, and that I started something different on Drag Race being on, on that show and I feel like they don't re- give me that respect so just I don't care that you're not RuPaul that you're not the brothers just hearing it from, hearing it from you somebody who's also an artist somebody who's on this show something that that's all I need to hear. So it, I, I may never hear that from the brothers or Rupaul and them, but just hearing that from you is enough for my heart. So thank you so much for. I really appreciate that. Oh I genuinely do. That really that, that really touched me a lot, Asia. It really did seriously, for So oh I always want to cry, but I'm not gonna cry. But thank you. So okay. So <laughs> but thank you so much for real. Um. Now, on another messy note, <laughs> just really quick. Yeah. yeah. After all that. Right. 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 So okay. This is one thing that irks my nerves a little bit. Just when the brothers like, drag is art. Art is subjective. I am here not to judge your drag. But aren't they secretly judging your drag? <laughs> 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 okay, this is my opinion on it. Because I've heard you say this in right. many of your okay. and everything. It's like, at the end of the day, it's a competition. So, like, they are quite literally judging. Yes, drag. yeah. But I understand, like, they, by the way that they mean it. Right. It's like, they're not judging the, you know, how, like, right. why we do certain things. Yeah. It's just more so how it was presented on the stage. Right. So, I get what they're saying, but, like, you're totally valid in that. Right. Like, they're quite literally judging. Right. Them, you know? Which is their yeah. job. It's your, it's your job. Like, and it should be. Yeah. And, that, and same with RuPaul and them. I feel like, just, just really quick, just, and, and then we can, we can get to the show there, but like, you know, I just feel like they're so scared to say what they really want to say because the fan base is going to be like, oh, no, you didn't. And they don't get canceled. And, but it's like, that's y'all's job. People are, people are still going to tune in to watch the show regardless of what they say. And so, and plus, how are queens going to learn to maybe improve or get better if you're not telling them the things that the audience may see. You get what I'm saying? Like, how, like, that's just the truth. Exactly. It's the truth. Yeah, because I feel like when people get there, too, it's like, oh, I'm so sickening. Yeah, I'm sickening. Like, you know, sometimes you do need to hear those things. Yes. Like, wow, I really need to reevaluate what I'm doing so that I can be my best self. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Okay. Okay. Tell everybody here where they can tip you at. Cause you know I can't afford to pay the girl, oh. so so let everybody know your tipping information right now. Oh, thank you. Yeah, my um, my Venmo is just at Asia Consent, and then my Cash App is dollar sign Asia Consent six six six. Cause okay. I'm spooky. Uh huh. <laughs> Okay, so no, no, for real, make sure y'all, make sure y'all, yeah, cause y'all good at helping me, and even if y'all decide to say Pierre, I can't help you this time. I can only help Asia. I promise I won't block y'all. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I know how you are now. Right. <laughs> you can trust me, Carrie. They said, what's your favorite video game? Since you're a gamer. Oh, yes. Okay. Let me say this, because I didn't know with uh, Season 6 that Dead by Daylight was going to be a thing. It's not my favorite video game, but, like, it's the one I've been playing the most in, okay. like, quarantine. Okay. And before I even got on the show, I was obsessed. So, like, love. It's just horror. So, like, love that. But I grew up playing, like... The Sims, I love, uh, like, I was, like, making them woohoo and all that, so <laughs> that was fun. Oh, you're um, the one making the Sims on Rule 34, on Rule 34.com? <laughs> That's my you guys. <laughs> um, yeah, and I like, like, farming games, uh-huh. but then I also like, you know, like, Fortnite, I like shooting people and stuff, so uh-huh. not, you know. I know, I know, I know. Yeah. Uh-huh. Are you? Um, but yeah, I like a little bit of everything. I just, I will not play a sports game, though. Same. Like one I will not touch. Yeah, what sports sy- in general. What system? Um, I have, I play on PC the most, but okay. I also have a Switch, I have a Steam Deck, I have a PlayStation 5. Thank so you. I got a little bit of Thank you. Wait, a- I was getting ready to block you if you said Xbox. So, cool. So, we're good. So, so, no. Asia, can, from can you please be a dumb idiot with me and buy the PS5 Pro? So, I'm not alone. Just, just. <laughs> I've thought about it. But I'm just like, me. damn, I because I was waiting for so long to just get a PS5. So I was like, I know right. it's gonna come out with the right, right, right. Like, yeah, 
Yeah, I'm, I'm right, 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 right. A week later, right. Pro comes out. Yeah. <laughs> well, after you win, so, drag. I'll do it with you. Why not? No, after you win, drag. Like you go buy one. Um, somebody. Hey, hey, they said, did you know any of the girls personally before you went on the show? Like, were you like, oh, hey, so and so. Um, so Majesty, I knew beforehand because she lives in Portland, but the thing is, she didn't, like, perform really, like, at all, but she was taking a break from drag, so I knew Majesty, right. um, which I will say, too, because I've seen discourse about it, like, online and everything, right. like, oh, is Majesty, like, really big yeah. herself and everything, and I will say, in my interactions with her outside of the show, even before being on Dragla myself, She's exactly the same in person, so okay. like, I understand she does come off a little, you know, it may not seem 100% authentic, but, like, I think that's just genuinely how she talks, like, truly. Even behind the scenes, you know, at the mansion and everything, like, that's just how she is, so. Um, she's Wait. the one I really knew intimately, but, like, a lot of the girls I was following, like, Auntie I've been following for years, right. Severity Stone, shout out, love her so much, uh, Vivi the Force. Um, Scylla, like I've been following a lot of them. Oh, Google, good. But Magic is the only one I like knew knew beforehand. Now the mansion is it really a mansion girl or or is it a broken down Walmart warehouse? What is it? <laughs> oh yes, mansion <laughs> kind. No, oh, not kind. <laughs> it was a mansion for sure. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so did you want to um, stick around and like just review the show with me, or are you, are you busy, or or like what do you feel? I don't want to hold you up if you're busy um, and, and you're tired. I do have a couple uh, cameos that I do. Oh, yeah. I, I, I yeah. live with my grandma, too, so um, she did want me to, like, help her with something. No, that's fine. Yeah, so I probably won't stick around for the show. That's fine. Um, but... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, no, I said that's fine. No, don't apologize. No, no. Look, girl, we've been talking for about what an hour or so now, girl. So like, I am, I am quite content. No, but um, yeah, yeah I am. Look, I. <laughs> but no, I want to say, um, for real, thank you once again. Thank you for the words. Thank you for the encouragement. Thank you for not being um silent. Thank you for, for being loud with it. Thank you for being here on my little channel, you know, and just your support. And so, and, and thank you for, for coming to the piggies side and, um, and, and talking with us. Of course. And just, I, not to gas you up too much, just one more time. I just like, this just means so much to me because like, I've been a huge fan of Drag Race, even like since season two. And I've been watching ever since. And like watching you on your season, like it was just so inspiring. And there's people like you doing whatever makes you happy and presenting that to the world is what encouraged me to do this. So, like, if it wasn't for people like you, I probably wouldn't even be here today. So, just thank you so much. I'm not trying to brown nose too no, much. But it's, no, it's so true, no, no. Like, it's not just you. Like, there's many other people. Right, of course, like, yeah. Specifically. I appreciate what you do so much. And, like, you know, some of these people may come for you or, you know, right. try to copy your shit and whatnot. Uh -huh. Like, at the end of the day, it's like, you are so original what you do, and I just really appreciate that. So, just thank you for being your authentic self in drag, out of drag, and everything, and just, you know, and also, too, I don't want to say, if I get canceled after this, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> if you get canceled, just, I have work, I have work for you at the Piers Emporium, where I will, you will be, <laughs> you will be I'll be on payroll, yes. yes. <laughs> So make sure y'all pay for a tip. This girl tip her just because she might she might she, look she might get canceled after this. She she need some some money for somewhere to stay after this. Yeah, exactly. So I'm still in debt. Right. So I gotta pay this off, y'all. Please tip me one dollar. <laughs> Thank you again for coming to the chance. So yeah, so everybody give it up for Asia Consent. Oh, where can they follow you at? Oh yeah, so yeah, follow me just at Asia Consent on everything. So that'll be on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Um, all that. I actually might be doing Twitch soon because I do want to play video games uh -huh, on there. Uh -huh. And who knows, I might be collabing with some right. people. Ow. Yeah, that'd be fun. You know, um, but yeah, just follow me, Asia Consent, everywhere. That's Asia like the continent, and Consent, which is mandatory. Okay, it is mandatory, honey. We're not, we're not doing any, yeah. any, any ditty parties today. Or I mean, yes. it, it, <laughs> Okay, well. Oh my God, Nina! <laughs> that was wild. Okay, well, everybody here, y'all say, "Girl, goodbye to Asia, honey," and I will see you, girls. For, thank you for having me. Of course, and I will see you, girls, for the rest of the show. Bye bye. So we're gonna do a quick jamming with Pierre. This song is gonna be "I Just Died" by Amory. Here we go. I live for that beat. Doom, doom, doom. I take the glove off. Doom, doom, doom. Doom, 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 doom. Ah. Staring in the mirror's eye. Just got to the cafeteria.
Yes, ma'am. Staring in the mirror's eye, start to contemplate. Yes, ma'am. This song is so, this is like the kind of song you want to listen to when you want to just be in a dream world. You just want to dream. Like, it's like, a, it's, it's very fantasy. The beat of it all. I just, to me, just like, just floating into like, just stars. From the start, you know it's fine. Come on, high notes. From the start, so high. Ow. You are, and baby, it's all in my mind. We hustle, say, as it flies. I just died, yeah, 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 yeah. Ow! I just died in your arms tonight, hey, hey. Oh, that's when the love is so, you put the love so much, you die in their arms. Not literally die, but like you just, ugh, in their, in their love. I just died in your arms tonight. Don't want nobody bring me back to life. I just died in your arms tonight. Hey, hey, hey. Ow. Shit high from such a love affair. <laughs> You're not loving girls be doing their little like low notes. In such a love affair. <laughs> I the first part right here. She go, so softly, so softly. Ow! I just died. And we love doing those kind of, I call them Michael Jackson notes. The, oh! Oh! <laughs> like her, I really could see her doing a Michael Jackson song. I think she, I, I think she could kill a Michael Jackson song, in my opinion. I, I think she could. I remember I wanted her to also play, when they were talking about doing um the last Dragon movie remake, allegedly. And they were talking about using Rihanna to play Vanity's role. But I think Anne Marie, just look alone, looks alone, would kill a Vanity role. Even her voice. Like I like I think she could kill that role as 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 Vanity in Last Dragon. Ow. Whoa, 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 whoa. I live for that. Like that part would give me like I'm 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 just like in a in a, at a on a Ferris wheel and like just like I don't know just like giggly and just like seeing the stars in the sky and just uh it just it, it, it gives that kind of feeling right there. I just died in your arms tonight. Don't want nobody bring me back to life. I just died in your arms tonight. Hey. Don't want nobody bring me back to life. Yes, ma'am. That was Anne Marie's I Just Died. And that was jamming with Pierre. Jamming with Pierre. Now on to the show, ho. Sure, or stay on track to the bitter end. I'll tell you, I was so busy on my phone just now. I didn't, I didn't realize they were doing a, a long movie again. Let's just say the chicken hit the fan. That damn funky chicken. This bitch is getting on my last nerve. I guess the girls don't still don't see it from Miss Majesty, honey, and her new change, Miss Congenial area, era. Brought a chicken. You do the math. I'm taking a chicken. I'm black. Okay. And Desiree went before me. Was there one? Being that Desiree went first, shouldn't she win? Mm-hmm. And every moment is not about you. And I just want. Oh. Well, it's over. Honestly, who made you leader of the group? <laughs> it's so weird seeing Asia here now after just talking to her. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready to be in a competition. That's why they- What? You don't really want to be in, but why, did you, why are you there? ...of the ghost train. <gasps> um, I guess their looks have to deal with something that's like a train. So like train conductor or something? The ghost train? We'll see. An actual haunted train yard. Uh, allegedly they're gonna be filming or the runways at an actual alleged haunted ghost rail yard. Okay. I, I wouldn't be scared. I'm just like, whatever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go yes. I am sorry. Oh, not turning around to do a high five, but nobody was there. <laughs> How do we pick who? No shade. I'm not really gagging. I'm like. Maybe it's in person, it looks like a little better. <laughs> I got it. I feel like I'm a- Secretly, do some, do, do some of them even care about earrings or wearing earrings? Cause some of them 
haven't been doing like what I would consider like a drag kind of look. So I'm just like, for example, Grey Matter. Does he really want earrings? <laughs> <laughs> Get away, man. Just say I don't want you. A lot of people seem to want to be on my team this week, which kind of sucks because I could only pick two. Oh. <laughs> Delusions Drag Race? Choose him. Love this new Boulay song. It's catchy as hell. I think he's doing a thing called acting. <laughs> but I also appreciate you, Auntie, for pointing these things out to me. Very concerned about how other people are perceiving you and how you're in. I don't think she buys her bull. Anti calling Majesty a narcissist, especially since that bitch got her own self tattooed on her chest. Oh. <laughs> uh huh. I'm not excited by it. Hey, like it's, it's cute, but it's like you know, it's simple. You know, not like oh, whoa. You know, it's like it's just like it's cute. Like it's it's cute. I put on layaway. Thank you. That's so sweet. And I do have to say, you too. Let's just say, it's a look. <laughs> Come on, ride that train and ride it. Doo, doo, nah. They make their looks like the lighting is so hard to see the looks. I'm like, what am I looking at? It's dark as hell. Like, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm gonna assume the light will come on eventually, but from what I can see, I rent it. So I don't know if this has anything to do with a train at all. <laughs> But because she was here, I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> like, okay, I thought they said that they had to incorporate the earrings into the looks. I thought they said that, and I'm just like, once again, he doesn't really do drag. <laughs> I'm just like, at this point, I'm like, this is a drag king. He's giving me this guy off a of DVD. I can't remember his name, but it's this guy. I don't know how to judge this. I'm just like, I don't know what. Like, yeah, I think it goes with that old time train thing. I guess. I'm gonna put on layaway and think about it. When I tell you this Shoney looks so fast, I don't know. Maybe I uh, I don't know what to say about Majesty look. I can see it. <laughs> Aurora Gosmic. Um, yeah, I'll rent this. And the body looks nice, so yeah. Actually, I'll buy it for her. When I tell you this looks like an extra from the thriller video, Michael Jackson. <laughs> Um, I have not seen that video yet for October. I mean, of course, you know, I could look at it on YouTube. But I guess I'm old school and think about the days when you knew it was October because the music video channels were showing Michael Jackson Thriller. Always. I don't know how about the look right, but I think, I think I'll buy it just because the ignorant fact that you got a whole train track behind you. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy it for that foolery. What does the first lady of the lions, sheep, and bears of the Lord got to do with a train? You know what? She was shouting and getting a hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you see anything? I guess that was cute. I couldn't see it. <laughs> Why is this kind of cringy? <laughs> when I tell you the Bully Brothers gooped y'all and made y'all secretly just film, film a video for their song, it's... Okay. It's pies doing a good job lip syncing at least. Child. I think she's saying the words, but the smoke is blocking her face, so I can't tell. Glad Yuri's awake now, but I'm still bored. I didn't. Oh. <laughs> I love that you're the only one up here that's giving masculine energy. Well, maybe because. It's supposed to be a drag competition, so a lot of people wouldn't think to do that. <laughs> Unless they're dragging. Giving maybe less drag and more scare after, and I know- See? Yeah. That's... exactly. That does not mean to feminize your look. You want him to fem feminize his look. Come, come, come. You mean? Like, that, that, that's what you mean. Like, I, say it like you mean it. Ooh, ooh. 
like just say it like you mean it like you want him to feminize or something and that's okay it's your competition show that y'all came up with it's a drag competition show it's okay to say that if they're auditioning for your show then clearly they know that at some point you, you need to be doing some drag <laughs> aurora gosmic <laughs> aurora gosmic one i mean i'm not gonna lie this episode tonight has been a little a little lackluster for me and the runways has been a little like or the theme is like, eh, I'm not really that excited about it. But just her makeup alone is like, yeah, you win. So. No. Gray and I, can't think of name. I guess they're in the bottom. And it's something about being on a railing that has electricity and whoever lets go the thing first, they lose. Roar won a performance challenge. <laughs> At a Black Lives Matter protest, I was shot in the back of the head. Cause you ain't black. JK. <laughs> I can't, that's horrible. I can imagine how that felt, and thank God it wasn't a real bullet. It's just hard to be present with y'all talking when Pete and I have to go do something. But you were okay with talking and everything else when somebody else had to be in the bottom. It just happened to be on you this time. <laughs> Is this really real? Oh my God, like, I cannot. And if this is a real thing, I wonder in the long run, does this affect anything at all? Next week. Ah! So let me guess, neither one let go, but they gotta decide who goes home just off of past episodes? Ah! Ah! So they're not gonna say who, 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 who. What if they bring them both back, but I doubt it. Something tells me they're gonna keep Grey Matter just because, I guess, just TV-wise. I think they're gonna keep Grey Matter. What do y'all think? <laughs> well, okay. Sorry, I took my contacts out because they were dry and bitch. But yeah, that was um, the episode. I, I enjoyed the last episode better. This one was kind of like, it was okay to me. It was it was, it was okay. But then, let me know what y'all think. Thank y'all for watching um, The Raw You. Thank y'all for supporting Asia. This is if I kept it attached to The Raw View. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it separate or not. The one that's speaking in maybe like past or future kind of thing. Thank y'all for supporting her and maybe tipping her. Remember to like the video, y'all. Because if, if the video stay to 1K and up, then I will keep doing them. And remember to stay beat, to stay beautiful, but most importantly, stay blessed. Kimo Cho or Kamochi. Bye bye. Tommy doesn't touch my dirty pillows at prom. Or at least that's what Mama calls them. They're all, they're all, they're all gonna laugh at you. I was also so white and confused at school today. And I still don't know where the manager is. <laughs> all the girls laughed at me. They're all gonna laugh at you! Why? Harry White, get down here and praise God. Coming, Mama. And where's Boo Boo? Uh, uh, why? Why?